Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Um, I'm not sure this video is going to go up before or after the first video I did since coming back from vacation, but it's a daily, so it might go up before. Uh, in that video, I mentioned not wanting to do, to do a daily right after getting back, because I'm probably going to be bad, but uh, I already did one run. I've decided, you know, the best way to learn here is to take your own, or is to take your medicine, right? Oh my god, while I was gone, Europa and Aluk just... Tearing it the fuck up. All right. Yeah, congrats. 100th, 80th, 35th, 61st. Uh, 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 get ready to be in like 10,000th. Um, actually, I wonder if there's any way for me to see how many people did it. I guess on Greedbutt I could, but I'm just, I'm assuming that probably since the game's been out for a while, dailies have kind of fallen off a little bit, but it's a shame because I like them quite a lot. Um, no seed, of course. It looks like we're playing Samson. We're going to Mom's Heart. Man, it has been like... Close to a month, I think, since I've done a daily, so all, all I ask for you is to have mercy on me. Well, Bear Taffy has signed in to, to Steam playing Rocket League on the Roundtable podcast three weeks ago. Dude tells me, I don't know, man, I think I'm done with Rocket League. I uninstalled it. And all of a sudden, looks like somebody reinstalled it. Way to go, man. You think that bandwidth grows on trees? See, that's why I never uninstall anything, because you never know when uh, you might get the 3 a.m. urge to play, um, you know, Rimmed Capsule in offline mode. Because if it was online, you could just re-download. The game's like 100 megs, so it's no big deal. Not Rocket League. That's like probably a, a few gigabytes at least. Um, how is this run going so far? Well, we're Samson, and I had the opportunity to go to a, uh, a curse room without really compromising myself at all, so that's good in order to get that little damage bonus for this floor, but honestly, I'm not really uh, overly concerned with my ranking today. I'm not that concerned with Seams, uh, he, he said, hoping anyone believed his lie, uh, but in sincerity, I, I'm just mostly hopeful that we can actually make something uh, resembling a good run happen here. The run, I don't want to spoil it again in case they come up out of order, but let's just say things were pretty obvious. The result of the last episode was, the last episode I recorded at least, was pretty obvious relatively early on into the whole uh, proceeding. Well, that was fantastic. What a waste of a bomb. Let's see. Lemon Party. That's actually great if we can get Larry Jr. to go on top of it, which we did. And it makes me feel slightly better about the fact that we uh, wasted a bomb. just want to see if maybe, just maybe we can get secret room access here. Uh... I think there's a chance it could be here? Yeah, okay. That works well for us. Two extra bombs. I don't really... Ah, we should blow up the mushrooms. It's a daily. What if it's magic mush? We don't want to miss out on it. Could just be another lemon party, which would also probably be worth it. But instead, we get Liberty Cap, which is fine as well. Uh, and we'll head down to the next floor. No chance for an arcade, unfortunately, but but still really good. But yes, uh, what, I'm, what I'm getting at, I guess, is that the last run, win or lose, wasn't really... Uh, much of a test. So if this run ends up being a test, I just want to succeed. I want to have a run where we actually win. Of course, this one's only going to mom's heart, but, you know, still. It's, it, basically, I'm just getting my sea legs underneath me, I guess. Um, five bombs. I guess is good, because we do have a tinted rock over here. Led to a golden chest, unfortunately, and the pots associated with it didn't give us much. We got growth hormones from our last boss, which I didn't mention, but, of course, is excellent, because we get a syringe out of it, and also, um... You know, speed plus range, both worthwhile, mostly the speed. That was terrible damage, but I do have a spirit heart. It'll only be a half-hearted damage anyway, but I, it was kind of a half-hearted dodge, honestly. So I guess I got what I deserved. Shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Excuse me, cat. You eating something? You eating something you shouldn't be eating? Which is, you know, pretty much everything in this entire house except for cat food. Um, they were not. They're, they're, just, they're just being cute. No secret room next to our shop, if that is a shop. Could be a library. Um, good, in the sense that there could still be a secret room next to our curse room, which would mean that I could go in there relatively risk-free. Bad, in the sense that there totally may not be a secret room next to our curse room, in which case I just, you know, get double whammied. Um, and also that I won't be able to access the shop as easily as I'd hoped, maybe. But let's see. Yeah, I, I would expect that we'll probably have a decent chance at it. I hate when these secret rooms border, um, assuming it is here, I hate when they border two large rooms, because I never know where to place the bomb in order to be sure that I'm getting uh, 
the result that I wish. Like, that bomb to me seemed kind of symmetric in the way that I placed it, but I could have been totally off. Do I really want to use one more bomb to check? Yeah, I think so. Probably should have been hit there, to be honest with you. And we can always go to our curse room after. Uh, I'd assume this is a second secret room. Alright, well, I'm just striking out completely here. So let's try here? Alright, well, uh, clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll fight the haunts, and this is actually going to be a genuine test to see if I can get uh, the deal with the devil. Oh, that's real bad. <laughs> I still should have uh, no uh, damage to red hearts, but it means I pretty much have to... I wouldn't say fight perfectly against the haunt, but uh, not take damage at least. Yo, dead bird, ag- Oh, that was close. Aggro the shit out of him, man. That's your one job, is to get like close enough to the enemies to to do damage to them, so I can focus on dodging a little bit, and you're you're really letting me down here. You're also like a, altering his speed, which is fudging with me a little bit. Fudging on my titties like you wanted me, Carl. Ah, I got hit. Okay, so that's probably our deal with the devil chance is squandered there, so... Oh, never mind. I must have had one more spirit heart than I remembered, or maybe just got super lucky there. Peel his balls of steel. Should not have taken it yet, but there it is. Uh, we'll take Bloody Penny, because that can be like a game-breaking trinket in a good way. Um, not in the sense that we'd cause like an, you know, unhandled error or something. Hopefully. Uh, and with golden keys, we can go back and open up this golden chest. Ah, oh, I guess we did have a spirit heart. I didn't notice. It's good. Um, I don't know if you get an exploration bonus for going to your shop. Yeah, seems like it. And actually on it, can blow this guy up. Shouldn't be a secret room, but was a secret room because uh, I don't know how secret room generation works anymore. We'll probably just take our bombs and go. Would have been nice to get there as options, but I don't really uh, see a seam to get that unless we have... Uh, Unless we have, like, pots that end up becoming the quarter or something. And the curse room ended up sucking pretty bad, but that's okay. Still on pace for uh, boss rush. Still on pace for uh, a, a potentially decent score, at least. But, of course, you know, looking for something to take the next level. Take our score to the next level. But so far, from a, you know, just kick an ass perspective, it's pretty good. Can emergency contacts... I was just trying to think of how that could help us. Here's what I'm thinking right now. Well, while we're talking seams, even though a floor ago I said seams don't matter. <laughs> while we're talking seams, um, I guess we could use emergency contact to get us out of the mom fight and then into a sacrifice room if there's one there. Of course, it would be better to do it on the uh, on the womb two. But if there is no sacrifice room on the womb 2, we'll have eaten shit. So if there's a sacrifice room on the depths 2, we'll probably try to take advantage of it. Now, this room's taking me forever. I also didn't point out we have... Oh, that was bad, but at least it's speeding us up here. We also have a great synergy um, between Head of the Keeper and Bloody Penny. Now, if we can actually get, like, IV Bag to go along with that, we pretty much have unlimited damage ups. Uh, at least... Only limited by the actual cap that Bloody Lust gives us, uh, which which is amazing. So, obviously, that's something I'm going to be looking for. We'll probably need to be pretty aggressive with our play in order to stay under my, like, semi-artificial splits for time. Set arbitrary, not really artificial. But the only, the only hard and fast limit is 20 minutes to get into boss rush, you know? If you're at 1959 when you go down to the next floor, it doesn't really matter if you can beat Mom in, you know, a fraction of a second. Uh... That's obviously just a thought experiment, because their death animation is like two and a half years long, but... I uh, Might as well call it like the fuck you, boss rush doesn't show up when you ask, it shows up when you earn it animation. But that's that's going to be really long in the namespace, so, you know, discourage readability a little bit. Okay, we got Ansos. Um, good in some ways, but doesn't really help us out too much on this floor, because it's not like we can skip anything. And that's pretty common with these early floors, is like, you know, what, what are we going to find to skip this early? We got Puberty, which is not too bad. Um, we also have Secret Room right here. I'd like to be out of this floor by 10 minutes, which honestly should be pretty doable, but then usually the game seems to speed up after that, indicating to me that my splits are pretty poorly planned, but, you know, I just decided on them one day as I was playing. I was like, eh, it seems like 10 minutes should be good for this. Most of the time, it they, they serve a useful purpose. Sometimes they kind of come back and bite me in the ass. Um, 
Will we check our shop on this floor? Almost certainly. Oh, man. Unlimited bombs is so nice. Mostly because now I can actually use these for damage, which is going to greatly speed up our uh, progress here. You know what? I don't think the Empress card is worth holding. Like, I think the time spent on using it and then going back and picking up Emergency Contact, which we may need again to uh, kind of give us an, an out from a gameplay perspective, is a little cost prohibitive. Um, pretty nice, though, that we just got uh, a nickel there, which may actually make our shop worthwhile from a... The standpoint of having enough money to buy something. First things first, though, our item room is Peeper's Eye, which is relatively bad. Uh, I also hurt myself because I'm a complete idiot. That right there might be enough with... Like, let's put it this way. I'm assuming the majority of people who are left doing dailies are probably pretty decent by and large. More decent than a random slice of the Isaac population. That's not meant to be a slight in any way, either. Um, I would like deep pockets, by the way, but if it's not feasible, then... If it's not realistically feasible without me doing a lot of golden bomb shenanigans, that's fine. So, making one mistake with the Isaac population that's still doing dailies being probably as skilled as it is scares me a little bit. But hopefully it doesn't end up uh, causing us too many problems here. Um, again, golden bombs, that was just hugely important for us here. Look at how quickly we sped up through the rest of this. Get a guppy item and honestly probably just head down. I'll tell you what. I'll shoot these. If they give us a coin, that one we could have just golden bombed out. So, if they gave us a coin, I would have been cool with it. They didn't, that's fine. We save a little bit of time, banking it hopefully for uh, maybe use with an arcade on this floor. And if we can, uh, if we can get a blood bank, get IV bag, that's a lot of points. And let's not forget that if we end up doing a self sacrifice room, the more HP we have, the better. Um, because we have Bloody Penny. This is probably going to hurt. Yeah, almost got uh, snagged there. Um, but basically, if we have like 6 HP, sure, if we play a Sacrifice Room, we'll lose all our Spirit Hearts. But we're not going to fall below 6 HP in all likelihood because of, uh, you know, the synergies between Burnt Penny. Uh, not Burnt Penny, Bloody Penny, etc, etc. I got freaked out because little Tomo Buddy... Ah, such a bad dodge. That little Tomo Buddy jumped up here. What's up? Don't jump on the computer tower, okay? Very simple job here. Very simple set of tasks. I know it looks like it would be nice and warm up there, or cool up there, I guess, because of the air, but uh, I implore you not to do so, please. There's our secret room. Still doing fine time-wise. Not thrilled with our damage from, uh, you know, the perspective of having to do boss rush a little later, so... Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, this was amazing. <laughs> this room was really good. From a consumable standpoint, at least. Um, 37 cents now definitely opens up, you know, whatever we want from this shop and probably every shop for the remainder of the game. I'm just going to use a bomb on this guy because I hate him. And we totally missed him, which just... If I didn't hate him before, I, I absolutely loathe him now. A little dangerous, you know, you get used to those golden bombs. Then you're like, oh, I can just use a bomb for every enemy. No, you fucking can't. Unfortunately. And then we're fighting... Gertie here, who uh, is a little asshole in his own right, at least I'm very uncomfortable with that, with that dodge right there. It actually worked out for us, but most of the time I'd, I'd much rather uh, just not be on the side that he's actually shooting. Um, the, only, the only reason Gertie's an asshole is because of his ridiculously high HP, but... You know, we, we got a little bit of time. We don't have to start sweating it yet. If for some reason this fight takes two and a half minutes, we can always just go straight to the next floor if that's something that we really desire. Uh, it's not really. That was another fairly close call there. Big big ups to Peeper's Eye, helping us out a great deal right now by doing, uh, you know, 2% of Gertie's total HP uh, on 10% of its bounces. So that's like, that's going to add up to two or three trillion percent. By the end of this run. Pretty much, Peeper's uh, uh, eye here is going to be uh, the remainder of our damage for the rest of the game. I might as well just sit in the corner with Nod Leaf, wait for Peeper's eye to kill everything, especially against, uh, you know, Mega Satan. That's not going to happen because we can't even get to Mega Satan, but you get the idea. Basically, what I'm getting at is please give me an HP upgrade and a deal with the devil. There's our HP upgrade, uh, and there's a good spacebar item and the good item in the deal with the devil. So we compromise our HP a little bit, but pick up some stuff that's going to really, really speed us up damage-wise in the future. I would say that this is, a, this is a net positive to a huge degree. Now we have our shop. Um, this feels like a secret room to me, so I'm going to take a chance on it and waste a bomb. Honestly, we haven't taken that much stupid damage. 
the worse that your damage is, the more stupid damage you're prone to take. So I feel like most people doing the daily, even the Isaac superstars that are that are still left here, are probably going to be in the same boat as me. Now we can take two cards. We get emergency contact with the tower. Pretty silly. Um, use the tower to get the Joker card, or drop the tower to get the Joker card. Uh, I think that's a very good trade. Let's continue exploring, although I, yeah, okay, this is what I'm looking for, but apart from that, I want to be out of this floor pretty damn soon. Um, although, ah, that sucks. Why does this suck? No blood bank. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll blow up the key beggar as well. We're already, you know, in, in for a penny, in for a pound at this point with our time. Um, we got a decent amount of money out of it. There is a boss trap room. It's inaccessible for us now, unfortunately, so we'll just bounce. Uh, we're going down to the ne Necropolis or the Depths 1. And my brain is, like, slowly getting back to Isaac proficiency when it comes to commentary. I do find myself consciously being like, what's the name of this? What's the name of this again? Just takes, you know, it hasn't been accessed in a while. It's out of the cache. This is great. Um, the fact that we're on an XL floor is, is awesome. We have... Two teleport cards. I think emergency contact works the way I'm I'm suggesting it does. That it teleports us out of a situation we don't want to be a part of. So uh, I'm I'm pretty stoked about that. If we find the boss fight, we can totally do it right away. the The major question becomes one of of basically confidence and luck. Um, do we, if we find a self sacrifice room on this floor, decide to just uh, go for the self sacrifice, or do we decide to um, try to push it for the womb? And this is, like, one aspect of dailies that people have an issue with, and... Ooh, that's our guppy transformation. That's huge. And also an eternal heart. Um, but uh, it's it's an issue that I can understand. And you know what? If, if I'm being honest, I wish that there was some way to change this as well, or some way to uh, mitigate the, the RNG aspect here, even though Isaac is, you know, a pretty RNG-focused game, or a game where RNG weighs heavily on, on your results. Um, but it sucks that basically it just becomes... Uh, Maybe a 50-50 shot. It's probably not literally 50-50, depending on, uh, you know, the actual chance of getting a deal with the devil. Not a deal with the devil. Um, the actual chance of getting a uh, self-sacrifice room, which admittedly, I don't know, it might be 25% per floor, in which case it's not 50-50, of course. But um, basically, anyone who has forehand knowledge of this can guarantee themselves, like, an extra 7,500 points by just waiting until a future floor to, to do their business. Or they can guarantee themselves a much better score by... Uh, just not um, not waiting for a future floor and just, you know, taking the bull by the horns where it stands. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm pretty happy with the way today's run has gone. What was your Opa score? It was like in the 30,000s or something like that. Ooh, or something like that. Um, I don't really want to use bombs here because we have flies. And, you know, it's kind of a, a testament to how awful our, our base damage is still to this day. That, um... I, I'm relying on like nine volt to give me extra extra fly charges, but uh, it is what it is. At least it's dead. We get old bandage, which is actually pretty nice. Should have taken that. Now we'll just go through with this to try to uh, try to ensure that we are absolutely guaranteed to get our boss rush. I just realized I can't really teleport out of boss rush. I don't want to teleport out of boss rush, I should say. What we want to do is teleport out of the mom fight, which I still think I can do with emergency contact. It takes you back to the spawn room, right? It doesn't take you back to uh, to the last room you were in. Well, we, we kind of <laughs> made our bed, and now we have to lie in it here, so... Whatever it is, it is. So we're going to take the Polaroid, we're going to Joker it up, fight Krampus. Um, honestly, Krampus's head would make me feel a lot better about boss rush. Lump of Coal is also fine. So we got damn, we'll come in here. Uh this is a weird one, isn't it? Cause blood rights actually seems really good in this context. Does it damage us when we use it? Well, I mean, obviously it damages us. Does it cost us points? Yes. Um, but we're gonna get so many hearts back that I kind of feel like it's probably worth it. But I can't say for sure. Like, it's such a weird combination. If anything, it's giving... If, if nothing else, I should say. It's also giving us the damage bonus. So I'm stoked about that. I kind of feel like this is sort of a novel strategy that I hadn't considered before. And if nothing else, at least for people who are like, Man, NL always plays so safe on the dailies. Should have saved that two of clubs, by the way. And NL always plays so safe on the dailies. Well, you know what? We're, we're mixing it up a little bit here. I don't... For all the things you could say about me, I don't think you could say that we're playing it too safe on this one right here. 
taking an item that directly does damage to us in order to kind of fuck with the system a little bit. Okay, there's a full red heart down there. So we do have to be like semi-cautious about the way that we're uh, handling this here because I definitely don't want to put us in a, in a situation where we can't get any HP back. Of course, if anything, or if nothing else, it should only take time in order to get more HP in the future anyway because, uh, you know, we have a head of the keeper. But I don't want to be too aggressive with it. Can't tell if the da the points that I've lost are due to the damage I'm doing to myself or due to the damage that uh, I've taken from enemies. Hopefully just the damage that I've taken from enemies. But honestly, even if this ends up being not the right decision for us, it's a fun way to handle things, so I'm... I'm feeling good about it regardless. And I, th I think that's the proper attitude to have right now. Kind of a messed up uh, order of operations for myself there. There we go. Because we want to give ourselves permanent Polaroid invincibility whenever possible. And at this point, I'm not really doing it for the damage uh, up from Bloody Lust, which I'm assuming has, like, you know, way past been uh, at the limit. Or been at the limit for, for way longer than is necessary to even uh, comment on, but... I may be incorrect. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. I mean, in the end, we're not really gaining any points from Boss Rush here. But, what we might be doing is, uh... Ooh, I didn't mean to pick up Guppy's head. Uh, what we might be doing is, uh... Gaining points at the end of Boss Rush and kind of just treading water apart from that, which seems fine to me. Uh, we might, I guess we might as well hold Guppy's head until we get more HP. It's not like we're gonna be using... Blood Rites that much... As, uh, as it is right now anyway. And we can actually pick up our Eternal Heart and get our HP moving forward. So what's our what's our end game here? Ideally, we'd be able to uh, get a self-sacrifice room, like pretty much directly after this, and then uh, go straight to the Dark Room. And I think we could put down a pretty decent score that way. It sucks that we don't have IV bags, so if we could actually get a, a Blood Bank, even though we have an Eternal Heart, I think that would be a huge point generator for us. I really thought we'd get one more charge there. Um, oh well. Just watch out, because some of these eyes are not my eyes. There we go. Probably like, I don't know, three or four more waves is my guess. We've killed a lot of the more difficult enemies, so I'm not too worried about this. I think this is a decent daily to come back to. Seems relatively easy. Guppy transformation, of course. Oh, we already got it. It's deep pockets. That's Or no, it's number two. My bad. Um... Sure, let's let's take blood rights with us. It's weird, so we'll give it a shot. Emergency contact, Emergency contact has not removed me. <laughs> Does it only remove you when there's enemies or something like that? All right, so my master plan completely failed, but uh, we may have uh, a self-sacrifice room anyway. If not, well, so be it. But um, that's that's funny. Emergency contact is like. One of the few cards in the game that is still a complete enigma to me. I just don't understand it. I guess, maybe, like, my understanding of it right now is that it teleports you out, but only if there's enemies around? Is that correct, maybe? I don't know. Um, we're gonna use this Temperance card. Oh my god, two Temperance cards. Um, I mean, that pretty much worked according to plan. This is working. I just want those bombs to get away from my from my uh, temperance machines before I bloody lust the Christ out of them here. I don't know if there's any way around this. We're probably going to end up blowing the other one up. Unless we go now, maybe? And then just kill them with our tears when they're far away? That actually worked out. I'm, I'm a little surprised. Okay, so there should be plenty of good stuff in here. This might be a seam where we could expect to get like a lot of a lot of points. Joker, Joker, two of spades. Two of hearts. Okay, so... And we're just gonna play the shit out of... Out of these. And you're really hoping for, um... Not only a lot of Sackboy payouts here, but also, like, a lot of, uh... A lot of Bloody Penny payouts, which... I would expect to work out completely fine. A little <laughs> disappointed, actually, with the way that that's gone down. Do we have two Two of Spades? We do have two Two of Spades, so I'll pop both of those. Um, we have multiple Joker cards, so I think I'll pop one of those Joker cards, see what's going on in here. It's just red chess. Uh, we get Cursed Eye, which on a daily I consider impossible. I, I would not use that on a daily. Almost any other situation, I'm in. 
on a daily, no thanks. I think we have to say that IV bags are go-to item. Why is IV bag uh, better than ooh, ah, Chariot Joker? Maybe Emperor Joker, just in case we need to teleport. Um, the IV bag is better because it generates money, which generates HP, all of which generates score. So that was like unexpectedly a really good number two bomb. Um, but yeah, these, these all generate score, which is the, the really important part here. I think I'll probably play it uh, a little Northern Liony here. And now, you know what? If we're going to do dailies, we should go, uh, I don't want to say all in, because that's a registered trademark of FullTiltPoker.net. Uh, that's not true, by the way. I'm, I'm assuming, at least. Um, but um, we might as well do the full exploration and not be lazy about it. The other thing is, with Sackboy, we can basically IV bag, you know, ourselves into infinite consumables if we have that patience, which, uh, at this point, especially with 90 keys, I honestly don't, because, I mean, we, we still have a little bit of room for key swag bonus and a little bit of room for bomb swag bonus, but it's not that big of a deal. I was just going to say, if we get a two of clubs, it becomes even less likely. <laughs> in, in a way, the closer I get to, to 99, uh, the less I care about really just jamming on that to get the highest... Uh, point bonus possible but uh this is still i mean it's a great run it's actually a really really good run and a run that i don't feel bad about coming back to like i, I don't feel like i've really made too many decisions here or, or plays that i would not have made if i uh if i was warmed up if that makes sense like i feel like it's, it's gone pretty well um there is a golden chest so i would like to open that up unfortunately i don't think tammy's head is takeable on this run, just because the IV bag does hold a little bit of, of extra score potential, and I take Tammy's head all the time. So I know people sometimes are like, I hate when NL does things for... Ooh, cracked ice could be interesting. I hate that NL does things for uh, daily reasons. Like, he does something on a daily he wouldn't do on a normal run. But in this case, it kind of lines up, because I think it's a little bit more entertaining to do things this way as well. So how do we do Dice Shard? What's the optimal play there? I'll give you a second to think about it. You may very well be uh, be more correct than me. But my uh, my assessment here is that probably the best thing to do with Dice Shard is see if we get a Blood Bank on the next floor. And if we do, then um, we'll use IV Bag with the Temperance card or the, the Blood Bank that we just find there randomly. Uh, or the Self-Sacrifice Room, maybe. Uh, generate as much money as possible and then reroll all of it. I don't really know what we're looking for, but that'll give us the most of everything. Uh, because, again, it's basically a D20. It'd be best if we could, you know, use it on, like, a deal with the devil as well, I guess, to get maximum, like, reroll benefits. But let's keep in mind that unless we find a seam, this shit's over next floor anyway. So it's probably best to just... Reroll as many consumables as possible. Excuse me. Uh, Rerolls as many. Reroll as many consumables as possible uh, in order to get Awas rune. Because I know people are going to be like, "Oh, you should have used it on the D, uh, on the cursed eye in there." And you're not necessarily wrong. Don't pick up any hearts, please. Uh, you're not necessarily wrong, but I do disagree with that assessment. I think the best thing to do is probably to use it on uh, on as many consumables as we can. And in, to that point, I think we're probably just going to crack it, like, right now. Yeah, I don't mind this. Okay, now we got Pyromaniac. And that, that raises some interesting possibilities as well. We also get Cursed Dice, which gives us the ability to do even more rerolls. We definitely want Pyromaniac. We can use that for an abundance of great reasons. But uh, this way, when we hurt ourselves, occasionally we're going to reroll stuff. As a result of getting the D20 with Cursed Dice. Is this correct? Am I am I correct in this assessment of, of things? I believe so. Yo, Lusty Blood is too good to pass up. I need a Red Heart, though. Thank you. That seemed to not reroll anything. Um, I guess it's best... Oh, you know what? That Sun card is so good. Where did it go? There we go. Pop that. Now we got so many chances to, to reroll here. But we want Cracked Dice... Um, crack that. I'm, I may misunderstand how crack dice is used. But I'm, I'm generating a lot of shit. I think that that's pretty clear. Joker card. Um, I want crack dice back. I want to pick up, like, as little money as possible. Look, I, I seem to be confused. Let's just pick up all this shit. Joker card. 
Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll take Abaddon. Completely negates uh, our ability to use our hearts for good. But I'm looking at this and I'm seeing that there's no self-sacrifice room anyway, so I'm pretty sure that this is the end of our run, one way or the other. Now, if Europa was at 31,000, like I seem to remember, um, we're going to be right in that range. We're going to be knocking on that door. I don't think there's, uh, there's too much we can do to affect our chances right now, apart from just, uh... You know, taking as little damage as possible and beating it as fast as possible. Uh, normally, I like to take my time. <laughs> Masturbation. Uh, well, you know what? If this is a five room, uh, this might give us an out. Or at least a temporary out. Um, I guess we should have picked up Tammy's head earlier so that when we rerolled it, it could have been something else. Man, I don't know if it was worth 50, po 50 points for Ghost Baby. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it probably wasn't. Life goes on, though. We'll see what the hell is in these last two, and then we'll we'll finish it off. We'll be done with this run. Pretty much just fight mom's heart, get out of here. Not too worried. Oh, Awaz? Burkano? Burkano. And it is just a Burkano. This song was supposed to be a little sounding like La Bamba. It's Burkano. It's Burkano. You know, you get the idea. Um... Again, shy of a Burkano rune or a deal with the devil that gives us the shovel, this will be the end. And I gotta say that I'm relatively happy with the way this went down. This wasn't just your your average uh, bullshit daily. We kind of threw some stuff at the wall and saw what stuck. I'm I'm relatively proud of the uh, of the blood rites play. As Samson, I think that was a lot of fun. We do get a deal with the devil. And it's got nothing because we've already been to it. Right, of course. All right, we got 31,000. Puts us 173rd. I can't really be too mad about that. A little bit behind Europa. He was 35,000. He must have found a little bit of a better seam. Maybe with the IV bag and Sackboy, I think. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.